In this video, we got Andrew and Jennifer, my sister Jennifer, together to a uh, name. We're gonna, they're gonna do their favorite holiday movie. So we're gonna do um, Halloween, and Jennifer said specifically horror. So these are gonna be horror movies. Well, because yeah. that's what I watch is horror movies. And um, see, I might have some. It's a lot. I might have oh, I, I might have thrillers in there. As That's well. okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's whatever you it's want. Thrillers can be. I I have picked movies that I would sit down and watch again right now. For Halloween. For Halloween. For like a Halloween time. That's deal. exactly what Kevin and I did. So mm -hmm. most of ours were not horror at all, but it's stuff that we like to watch. And some of these aren't this necessarily. Here, yeah. Some of these aren't necessarily that gory, or it's just it's just you know like a, there's a movie on my list for horror that's. It wouldn't make anybody else's top ten, but I liked it. Okay. I liked it quite a bit, and you'll, what, you'll remember it as soon as I list. say it. Okay. Um, and that's my favorite tour movies and sci-fi movies. Right. That's my very favorite. And then they're gonna do Christmas as well, so stay tuned for that. So. So you want me to kick it off, or do you want to kick it You're off? You're gonna go number ten. Ten, ten okay. all the way up to my number one. Um, I had to put this one on the list. That's why it made number ten because it stuck with me for years. After oh. I saw it as a child. Andrew. <laughs> and it's called Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Andrew. Because watching someone get their hands severed when you're a child <laughs> is traumatic. <laughs> and then... There's rats in the cellar. <laughs> the bird on a plate. Uh, to me, that was, I mean, as a child, it's like... <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I really, really <laughs> wanted Andrew 10. to watch that. Hellraiser. <laughs> No, my number 10 is um, Haunting in Connecticut. Now, now that they say it's loosely based on a true story, but I like the whole premise behind it. I thought it was the whole... I haven't seen it. It's good. It's good. It wasn't one of those cam movies, though, right? I can't stand those. Like the Blair Witch thing, or the, will they have a camera? I actually thought the Blair Witch was sort of interesting, but... You know, I've, I've, it's the only movie like that that I've seen. So I didn't mind it because to me it was a one-time thing. And uh... Number nine, buddy. Number nine I liked uh, because it was funny and horror and weird and it had a Scary weird twist movies. ending, which was uh, Cabin in the Woods. I liked I liked it. That I like the end when all the monsters come. Yeah, through. yeah, oh yeah. Neat. See, that yeah. was a neat. That was a really because they had everything. Yeah, you know, it was a. Yeah. It, it, if you haven't seen that movie, it, it is, is a. Com neat. It is a complete twist yeah. once you get toward it. Then it twists again. I mean, it's a whole. It's a whole thing. Yeah, oh, that was good. My number nine, I picked um, a movie called The Uninvited, and it um, came out in 1944. Okay, and it's a ghost story. Okay. And it's really good. It's just really good. The so, Uninvited. The I'll Uninvited. Look some of these up. I got it on DVD at home. Don't have oh. a DVD player. I have a DVD player. Oh, they bought yeah, it. I would love to it. borrow it. Uh, my number eight is It. It was good. I love the new ones, too. Okay. I think they did real well with the, with the new movies so is, as well. So, which one is on your top ten? The new ones. Okay. I like the new ones. The old ones, are, to me, are just, you know, hats off to Tim Curry, of course. But the new ones will actually... Scare you. The old ones really You know what? He should have made the list, Tim Curry. Yeah. Because he's the bomb. Yeah. yeah, Tim Curry. Yeah, he should have made our other list. Go see the other video. Huh? Um, my number, what are we on? Number eight is a movie called Ghost Ship. Really? That yes. one did it? You like that first scene, don't you? With the wire? I thought yeah. it was neat. I, I thought so. it was. There's a hundred people on the deck of this beautiful boat they're all in tuxedos and they're dancing a cruise ship. and it's wonderful and one of the big cable snaps and just sails right through the crowd oh my god and it's he, a good movie though it's a good it's this a good is movie. the captain is dancing with this little girl uh -huh. and it catches him like through his head and it oh his, my god. his head slides off oh into her gosh. hands basically oh my god <laughs> story around it though this haunted ship so this is people. a very gory movie. no it's not no that's just that's, that's the, just the, that's how it starts yeah so i've given you nothing <laughs> yeah that yeah but it's not gory that's the only part that's of one it. of the worst parts of the whole thing yeah wow sorry yeah. i ruined it for you but no, yeah you didn't ruin it i mean if it happens at the very beginning i don't think that's right in that um number seven is silence of the lambs yes gotta have yes. It. gotta have my anthony yes I picked a Stir of Echoes. Never heard of it. I've heard of it, but... You need to watch it. If you have not watched it, it's got Kevin Bacon in it, and it's okay. good. It it's made Jennifer's good. list. Yeah. Stir of Echoes. 
disturbing. And anytime you guys want to play Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, Oh, with, with, with any actors or actresses. Yeah, Andrew. Not just Kevin Bacon. Yeah. I'll, I'll stomp you. Andrew would go up against anybody. I'll stomp you. All right, so number six for me, this is the one I was talking about, is Mr. Brooks. Oh. I haven't seen Mr. Brooks. It's, but that's... Te it's technically a horror movie. Um, Kevin Costner, I believe. I'm pretty He's sure we've seen He's a serial killer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen that, but it's been a while. He gets gratification out of killing people. It's not like a... You know, it it's is, not a slasher or horror movie. It's, it's, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not like that. It's just him fighting his demons the whole time, realizing that he's wrong and all that kind of thing. And then Dane Cook's in it, which is weird. It's a weird, it's a side role for him because he's always been a comedian, and he basically catches him and is trying to, you know, you know, you, he he wants to take me with you on the next one, you know, that kind of thing. Really? You know, he wants to. He is. He doesn't want to rat him out. He wants to go with him. We have, we've saw that, but it's just been so long ago, I don't remember it. Okay. Uh, mine is The Woman in Black. Yeah, that one will that one get to you. With Daniel Radcliffe? Yes, yeah. I thought oh, it was God. quite that good. One, yeah, that one will get I think, me, didn't mean you see it in the theater? I think so. I think we did. And I thought it was really good. I like a good Listen, uh, ghost story. I like a ghost like story. Like, nothing happens at the beginning of that movie, but then they have this close-up on, like, of a sink or something, this bird flutters, and it scared everybody in the damn theater. Oh, I believe that. I don't remember. Did you scream too? I remember things. I'm an easy screamer. Like Papa Puke, and I remember things, and people deny them. <laughs> don't even go. Don't even go there. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you want to have another side video? I'll have Jennifer Cackling for an hour. Um, people would love that. My number five is the Saw franchise. And I've never seen them. I just put them all together as one number five, right in the middle of the list. I love the Saw movies. They're 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 good. I didn't even think about them. They're good. You know, some of them are a lot better than other ones, but I like them. I picked fourteen oh eight. Oh, that's so good. God, that's a good movie. Have you not seen it? I'm trying to think what it now, is. It's Stephen King. Listen, for it's, the people out oh, there, the the room fourteen oh eight. Yeah. Yeah. For the people out there, there are two endings to that movie. Two separate endings mm -hmm. to it, and the one on Netflix or whichever streaming service is the ending I don't like. The ending you it's you literally have to go to YouTube now to find that alter the 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 first ending I saw was the one you have to go to YouTube and find. You like the one where he gets stuck in the ring? I like the well, no, I like the one where he gets out. Oh, okay. I like the I like the, the there's an ending where he where he gets stuck in the room. Spoiler. Yeah, and there's an ending where he makes it out of the room. But I think the ending where he gets out is so much more bone chilling than the one. And I'll go, you know, I could go into detail now. Because of the daughter. Because of the daughter. Yeah. My God. Yeah. yeah. It's so much more chilling. I, than, I thought that was a great, I like him. I like John Cusack too. I think he's, I, I need to watch it again because I don't remember. I know we saw yeah, it. But I, I could, I could, right. do, I mean, spoiler alert in 5432 and I could throw it out there, but go I don't yeah, Well, I don't think you should sit, buddy, babe. Well, well, that's true because I do. I would like to watch it again. Then bring it up to me afterwards and I'll tell you. Okay. Um, did you say yours? Yeah, yeah you it's said that. Where are we on? We're on uh, four, right? Mm -hmm. My number four is A Quiet Place. Really? That's well, John, interesting. And me and John just watched it not too long ago. I thought it was wonderful. Yeah, that that's time. a good movie. That was a very interesting. It's movie. an emotional movie. It's a good movie. Yeah, it's a, it's a, one of those you're you're not breathing with them. Yeah, right. It's a good that's movie. true. My number four was The Shining, and I'm talking about Jack Nicholson Shining. Right. Well, that's, see, that's that's, that's, that's all, that was on my little side list over here, but I was like. Cause I, I, what but, I did is pitch movies that if they was on TV, I'd stop what I was doing to watch them. Yes, and, the and that's one. Of those, yes. yes, it was on at your house. So the, the yeah. Ago. So yeah. The Shining did not make my list, but it was in the honorable mention on the side here. And Kevin was watching. That's the mm -hmm. one that you, Kevin, you can't. You can't help Kevin it. Was you can't help watch it. Glued to the TV. And one now, in my top three, two of them are thrillers, really. Okay, that's okay. So my number three is Seven. Okay. Uh, yeah. The Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah. Seven, yeah. yeah. Brad Pitt. The ending of that's yeah. morbid as hell. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, that's that's one of those movies. Okay. I picked The Others as my number three. The Others okay. was very good. I yeah. love Ghost Story. Nicole Kidman. That's what I was... Uh, Jennifer has a theme here. Yeah. 
Yeah, she, she likes does. ghost stories. She does. Yeah, more more than slasher. That that's right. not you know I like ghost stories. Yeah, I didn't pick. Uh, as you notice, I didn't pick any kind of you know. Rob Zombie's right. Halloween. I'm wondering if there's, like there's one. No, I think Andrew's on to um, more like this stuff could happen in true life. These people are serial killers and stuff. And I'm more ghost stories. He's more. Right. This could I've always happen. been fascinated. I'm by curious though. I, you, I, you know. If you're going to have one on your I love list. Dexter. I didn't like, pick it, but you know, I, I love those kind of things. You need to listen to Crime Junkie. Uh, my number, we on two now, right? Mm -hmm. My number two is Sleepy Hollow. Okay. Uh, Johnny Depp. I do like the old. I think we what I think we watched it together, didn't we? Mm -hmm. The the Johnny Depp Sleepy Hollow that is a good movie. That is a good movie. It has yeah. Christopher Walken in it. Yeah. He doesn't say one line. His face is all. He doesn't say one line in that movie, but he he portrays it. Okay, Jennifer. My one. number two, I picked as number two because I actually thought it was scary. Mm -hmm. And that's all I watch is scary movies. So it's got to be something before it makes me jump or freak out or something. And I picked The Conjuring Part 2. Part 2. Okay. I've because there's some parts it. of it and you're just like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought it, that was good. I thought it was good. Yeah, I haven't seen any of those movies. I like The Conjuring. Have movie. you, Andrew? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I watch all that stuff. But, you know, I didn't. I didn't really want to go for the jump scare type movie or anything. I mean, it's got a lot of that kind of stuff, but I, you know, something, that's why my number one is, it's, it's honestly, it's a psychological thriller. It's not a horror movie okay. at all, but that? I grouped it in there because the ending of it was, I, I haven't seen it in so long, but it's such a twist. It's such just a, it just blows your mind. And you mentioned it earlier. What? Shutter Island. Shutter Island. Shutter Island's my number one. I Because you can't figure it out. Cause you I still you think about it and can't you, you figure can't, it out. You can't figure out that movie, and then at the very end, it just completely derails anything that you thought you were thinking about. Mm -hmm. if, if, and that's why when you asked me what my favorite DiCaprio movie was, I was like... You we'll can go to. back and forth on Shutter Island. Because that is my favorite DiCaprio movie. Well, but my yeah. favorite is The Changeling, 1980, George C. Scott. Never seen it. She That's the best. Not, you did not That's name the movie that I thought. I thought you would have, there's a particular movie, you and I saw it together. You made me go with you to the theater and watch it. Just so that she, and I'm not going to give it away because my dad gave it away to somebody and I won't do that. The Sixth sure. Sense? The Sixth Sense. I thought The Sixth Sense would have been on there. I think the, she the others beats to, The Sixth Sense out. She the just wanted beats to it out. see my face when it unfolded because I know I went. Listen, <laughs> because I was the first shocked. time that we went and saw The Sixth Sense in the theater, uh -huh. at the very end of it, I promise you, people said, Oh my God! Yeah, out loud. It was because shocking. They were like, it was shocking to me. Yeah. Yes, very, very yeah. shocking. But I think the others. And they say that's one of like the that still I think holds the spot for like one of the biggest twists of all time. Oh, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but because of that was like the biggest twist. But because of the sixth sense, now. You sort of expect twist at the end of it. You that. try to, but see, with Shutter Island, try to find the twist. If you've never seen it, try to find the twist while you're watching it, because right. you won't. Yeah, right. You you'll ne you'll never see, you'll, you won't see it coming, and if you do, you're, you've got a high IQ, I guess. 